Hello, my name is Tannis Hydesmith. I'm going to be doing the med demo for the uh, intramuscular injection of thymine today. So uh, we have our patient uh, Jake Nursing with the number of 312-654-987 with the date of birth as January 10th, 1960 with Dr. Skills Lab at prescribing. Uh, this is the MAR. There are no known allergies. The date ordered is March 10th, 2022. The drug is thiamine. The dose is 200 milligrams. The route is intramuscular. The frequency is is twice daily or BID and the time is 8 a.m. it's not been given so it's safe to get quick hand hygiene we don't actually have a I'm just gonna pop over here some hand hygiene um, and then I'll talk to you about uh, so I'll just make sure that we have the drugs so this is thiamine um, it is in the 200 milligram form for two milliliters. We need 200 milligrams, so we will be using two milliliters in our syringe. Um, this is not expired and it is no allergy. So then I'll talk to you a little bit about thymine. Uh, this is a drug needed for pyruvate and carbohydrate metabolism for exogenous replacement of vitamin B1. So our patient is vitamin B1 deficient. Um, again, the recent indication would be vitamin B1 deficiency. Our patient has Wernicke's encephalopathy or otherwise known as Kortskopf syndrome, uh, which is a metabolic disorder, which is furthered by alcoholism. The safe dosing range is for an intramuscular um, route for an adult is 100 to 300 milligrams daily with the exception of Wernicke's encephalopathy as a maximum dose of 500 milligrams three times a day. Um, our patient does not require 500 milligrams so that is um, unnecessary. So I'll talk to you a little bit about PDM. So we have our drug thiamine. This is uh, safe to be administered by a nursing student. This is also, um, the usual is 100 to 300 milligrams IV or IM. Our route is IM every 24 hours or 500 milligrams three times daily with the exception of Wernicke's encephalopathy. As I just mentioned, 500 milligrams for Wernicke's encephalopathy as a maximum single dose with the regular maximum single dose being 300 milligrams as the usual dosage for the max single dose. Um, there are no special precautions for this. It is a fairly safe drug. Um, so that is the PDM as well as the information. I'll go on to shut that. I'll move on to talking about the drug and doing my second check or uh, first check kind of. So we've already done the check with the thymine. We've already uh, ensured that it is the right drug, the right dose, the right route, the right patient. Um, so that was my first check. I'm gonna move on to doing my syringe and talk to you about that. So I have here my collection. So I have thymine, the drug, the intramuscular injection with 200 milligrams for two milliliters. I'm choosing to use a blunt fill needle with no filter, uh, just to ensure that my needle stays nice and sharp. Um, I'm gonna be using a, uh, a 23 gauge one inch as an intramuscular injection for the deltoid region. Um, just for an adult, that's the appropriate length and size. I will finally be using a three milliliter syringe to uh, suck up the two milliliters from my um, thymine container. Um, two milliliters of fluid. I have two cleaning vans, uh, one for cleaning the bottle before I um, drop the fluid and one for the uh, deltoid when I get over there. This is my drug card, which I will do after um, drawing up my medication. So I'll just quickly hand hygiene again. Um, I don't have it there, but I'd like to use it. I'm gonna use the banana method, take this out. Again, the banana method, unfortunately this is open, this would not be open in a real setting. I'm gonna ensure that it's tightly on. Open that safely. Um, I'm actually just gonna quickly close that because I did not clean. So I'm just gonna do this quick. So I'd be cleaning for 30 seconds and leaving it for 15 in a circular motion. Um, I'm just gonna save some time and tell you that instead of doing it myself. Clean up my area. Now I would use and continue on. So open that safely. Draw up two milliliters of air. There we go. Perfect. I usually do just a touch more just to ensure that I have enough. Then I'd be safely securing it on the ground, popping the needle in, infusing the air, turning it upside down, and drawing up the two milliliters of fluid. Thank you.
Oh, sorry, my needle, there's not enough fluid in here. There's just a small amount of the liquid in here that is of no fault of my own, unfortunately. Okay, and then I'm just gonna push that in. I've got exactly two milliliters of fluid. I will take that out, pull to ensure that there's no um, medication left in the blunt fill. I will close that safely. I will take this off. And at that same time, ensuring that I keep everything safe, I'm just going to banana peel that open. And here is my needle. There we go. So I'm going to pop that down and immediately link my drug, drug card. So this is for Jake Nursing. The drug name is Thymine. The dose is two milliliters. The volume, the dose is 200 um, milligrams. Uh, with a volume of two milliliters. We'll just do this beside the mar. So yes, it's 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams, two milliliters in the dosing range. Um, and then the date is March 10th, 2022. This is going to be given at eight in the morning, 0800. This is intramuscular and twice daily. And I have the time that I'm gonna be giving it. And then as well, just my signature, as well as my designation. So here's my drug card. Before anything, I'll just pop this on. My here. So I have two milliliters of fluid there, and then I need to calibrate it. So I'm going to take this off, it's nice and safe, and I will push until I see a little bit there. That's exactly two. Perfect. <laughs> then I will um, pop that back on and do my second check. All right, so we are just going to first check the thymine. So we have the right drug, thymine, thymine, 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams, and a two milliliter um, draw. So we have two milliliters there. Um, and then we have for Jake nursing, Jake nursing, the drug thymine, 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams, thymine, thymine, 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams, two milliliters, two milliliters, intramuscular, intramuscular, twice daily, twice daily, at eight in the morning, at eight in the morning, it's not been given, so it's safe to give. Um, just uh, for note, if this is important, these two have been initialized, so we don't need a physician's order in order to uh, give this medication. Again, no known allergies, and this is not expired. So there's my second check. And I've already talked to you about thymine as well as um, the PDM and my second check. So now we can move on into the room. So there we go. So upon entering the room, I'm going to do a safety check. I'm going to make sure that uh, he is at a high level of consciousness. So actually first, I'm just going to make sure that this is put away properly um, before I do anything. So that's been cleaned. Uh, it's going to be properly put away just to ensure that it's not left anywhere. Um, and then my space needs to be cleaned. So ideally there would be a garbage, so I'm just going to pop it there. So everything's put away. It's safe to move on. Again, a safety check, and then we're going to talk to Jake about this, and I'll do my pre-admin assessment with you. So hi, Jake. My name is Tannis Heidsmith. I'll be your student nurse today. Could you please tell me your name and date of birth? He'll tell me. He'll also, do you have any allergies? He says no. I'm just going to ensure that this is the right patient with my mark. So I'm going to do a double check with his armband. I'm just going to check your wristband here for a moment. Oh, not on this arm. Fantastic. All right. So here is Nursing Jake. Nursing Jake Finn, three one two six five four nine eight seven, with a date of birth of January tenth, nineteen sixty. Date of birth January tenth, nineteen sixty. Um, perfect. That is my patient. 
with a verbal acknowledgement. And I'm using a 25 so hi Jake, we're going to be giving you your uh, thiamine dose of the day. This is for your uh, Wernicke's encephalopathy, which has uh, been induced by a reduction in your vitamin B1 levels. So before giving you this medication, I would do a set of vitals. I would also do a serum count of uh, what you have as your vitamin B1 levels, just to ensure that this is a safe dose to be giving right now, as long as your vitamin B1 levels are still low. Um, so I just want you to know a bit about this drug before we give it. So this is, again, to increase your vitamin B1 levels. Before you uh, get this drug, you need to know some adverse effects. So this has a hypersensitivity reaction at times. Again, adverse, so it shouldn't happen. Um, but you could feel some fever, you could feel some rash, you could feel some discomfort. Just let me know. I'll ensure that the call bell is nice and close by before we go. Um, there might be some weakness and restlessness as well. Um, and as I said before, the pre-admin assessment would be check blood test and check level of consciousness since Wernicke is a neurological disorder. So here we are. We've done all that. I'm going to wash my hands for a third time, enter the room, and then move closer to my patient to do my third check. How am I doing for time? Good. All right. So the bed is um, at a low level, but for an intramuscular injection, I would probably raise it up so he's sitting. Um, I'm not going to be giving to an, I'm going to be giving it to um, like a pad over there. So my third check. So Jake nursing, Jake nursing, no known allergies. The drug is thiamine, drug is thiamine. Two milliliters, two milliliters. 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams in a two milliliter solution. It's intramuscular, intramuscular, twice daily, twice daily. And it hasn't been given at 8 a.m. Hasn't been given at 8 a.m. So it is safe to give. So. I would be cleaning my uh, my patient's arm, but first I'm going to be doing uh, some landmarking. So it's uh, it's two to three fingers away from the acromion process. I'm going to use three fingers because I have smaller fingers, I guess. Um, and then just below that, you're going to want to make a triangle, and in the middle of that triangle is where you're going to want to inject. So you see that? That would be around here. Again. You can see that I'm doing that. Um, and then here I would be using a Z track. So that means like this. And you pull the skin away, keeping it taut and inject at a 90 degree angle. So here we are. You ready to get your shot? You're gonna feel some discomfort, but I'm not gonna rub it. So this is 30 seconds on, 15 seconds dry. Gloves. Um, so technically, you should be making uh, acknowledge your nutritional status, uh, evaluate like the effects of the medicine, uh, and monitor for hypersensitivity reaction. And here I have my drug. And we need to so I'm going to open that safely. I'm going to Z track because I'm going to use my red right hand, keeping that nice and taut at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to inject slowly, but at a pace. I'm going to exit this, I'm going to insert, I'm going to immediately engage the um, safety mechanism, so that is been safe to give, and then I'm going to immediately initialize, so my initials are TH with the UNC2 designation, and then that's good, that's good. I'm going to get rid of this. So this needs to go in the sharps container right away. It's a bit of a fog. Upon entry, I'm, I wouldn't have walked out with gloves on, so that would be in the room. Um, I would take my gloves off, re-enter with some hand hygiene, and then I will talk to you about what I'm going to be checking. So um, when I re-enter the room in about half an hour, I'm going to do a set of vitals because that never hurts. I'll also check my the, my patient's blood serum levels just to ensure that he's you know at uh, his B1 levels are rising. So Jake, I've already talked to you about what we're going to be assessing and looking for. You're going to be asking me uh, whether you have any 
um, fever, discomfort, or um, any type of hypersensitivity. Your call bell is within reach. Uh, he would have been set up, so I'm gonna put him back down. Beep, so he's at a safe level. He's nice and comfortable. There is uh, a safety check performed, nothing is on the ground. I'll be taking all of my sharps, um, which have been put away, my pen, my mar, and my drug card, um, and exiting the room.